How to Reduce Your Body's Uric Acid Levels Naturally Uric acid is a byproduct of the breakdown of purines, substances found in various foods and produced by the body. Uric acid itself isn't harmful, but elevated levels of uric acid can cause conditions like gout. A form of arthritis characterized by painful joint inflammation caused by a buildup of uric acid in the joints, which leads to swelling, redness, and intense pain. In today's video, I'll explain how to naturally reduce your body's uric acid levels in order to prevent gout attacks. As usual, this information is meant for educational purposes only and should not replace professional medical advice or care. Let's start with number 1, Limit Purine-Rich Foods. As one dietary strategy for managing uric acid, it is advisable to limit foods high in purines. When purines are broken down in the body, uric acid is produced. Individuals can mitigate the risk of elevated uric acid levels by limiting their intake of foods high in purines, such as organ meats, seafood like sardines and anchovies, and beer. It can be beneficial to consume foods rich in low purine alternatives, like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and low-fat dairy products, but limit your consumption to no more than 4 to 6 ounces per day. It is not necessary to completely avoid purine-rich foods, just be mindful of portions. Now, let's talk about number 2, maintain a healthy weight. Having excess weight is associated with higher uric acid levels in the body, causing higher levels of insulin resistance and increased uric acid production. This occurs because the body tends to store more fat, and adipose tissue releases substances that contribute to the accumulation of uric acid. Weight loss needs to be gradual and sustainable in order to be effective long-term, since crash dieting can sometimes increase uric acid levels temporarily. With diet and exercise modifications, aim to lose 1 to 2 pounds per week gradually and sustainably. Moving on to number 3, Tart Cherry Juice. Compared to high sugar drinks or fruit juices, tart cherry juice provides superior health benefits because it contains antioxidants and does not contain excessive sugar. Research has found that anthocyanins, the pigment responsible for the vibrant red color of tart cherries, inhibit an enzyme involved in uric acid production called xanthine oxidase. Moreover, tart cherries contain quercetin, another flavonoid known for its anti-inflammatory properties. An increased level of uric acid leads to the formation of painful crystals in the joints, a condition known as gout, where inflammation plays a crucial role in the development and exacerbation of the disease. One study published in the Journal of Functional Foods found that participants who consumed tart cherry juice experienced a significant decrease in uric acid levels compared to a control group. Drink 2 tablespoons of concentrated tart cherry juice diluted with water twice daily. 4. Avoid alcohol. There has been a link between increased gout risk and alcohol consumption, especially beer. Beer contains high levels of purines, and it can also lead to elevated levels of uric acid in the body. Alcohol interferes with the normal excretion of uric acid by the kidneys, leading to its accumulation in the bloodstream. This increased uric acid concentration can contribute to the development and exacerbation of gout. Ideally, you should avoid beer as much as possible if you have gout. 5. Increase your water intake. Well-hydrated bodies produce more urine, facilitating the removal of excess uric acid from the body. Dehydration, on the other hand, can cause the concentration of uric acid in the urine to increase, promoting crystal formation and contributing to conditions like gout. Pay attention to the color of your urine to determine your hydration status. Pale yellow to clear urine indicates you're well hydrated. Drinking sufficient quantities of water throughout the day supports the efficient flushing of uric acid from the body, as well as maintaining the right balance between purines and uric acid. Drink at least 2 to 3 liters of fluid a day, including water, fresh fruit juices, coconut water, and infused water with slices of cucumber, mint, or citrus fruits. 6. Avoid sugary foods and beverages. Consuming excessive added sugars, especially from popular sources such as sodas, juices, desserts, candy, and other sweets, can have a significant impact on uric acid levels in the body. Uric acid is a natural byproduct of the breakdown of purines, as I have mentioned earlier, when the body metabolizes fructose, 
a type of sugar commonly found in sweetened products, it can lead to increased uric acid production. Limit high sugar foods and always choose water over sweetened beverages, pay attention to nutrition labels and ingredient lists, and look for hidden sugar sources like high fructose corn syrup, sucrose, and other syrups. 7. Increase your vitamin C intake. Vitamin C has been shown to help the kidneys excrete uric acid, thus preventing it from crystallizing in joints. Several scientific studies have demonstrated that people who consume more vitamin C are less likely to develop elevated levels of uric acid and other conditions associated with it. So, it's important to consume foods high in vitamin C, such as blackcurrants, sauerkraut, acerola cherries, raw leafy greens, and citrus fruits. If you decide to supplement, you can add a teaspoon or two of whole fruit powders such as acerola cherries, camu camu, or rose hips to your smoothies or juices in the morning. 8. Celery, a low-calorie vegetable, is rich in antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals. Celery stalks, seeds, and especially the leaves contain high levels of lutolin, a flavonoid with anti-inflammatory properties. By inhibiting xanthine oxidase, an enzyme involved in puree metabolism, lutolin may reduce uric acid levels. The enzyme xanthine oxidase produces uric acid from purines found in meat and seafood. Whether enjoyed raw in salads, blended into smoothies, or as part of cooked dishes, celery is a versatile ingredient. Celery seed extract supplements are available if you wish to incorporate celery seeds into your daily routine. 9. Increase your fiber intake. Foods high in fiber, such as fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes, can positively impact uric acid metabolism, among other health benefits. Fiber in the diet facilitates optimal digestion and metabolism, allowing the body to eliminate waste, including excess uric acid, more efficiently. Furthermore, some fibers, such as soluble fiber, modulate insulin resistance, a factor closely related to uric acid regulation. 10. Drink coffee which contains chlorogenic acid and caffeine acid, has been linked to a reduction in uric acid production in the body. Additionally, coffee consumption has been associated with a lower risk of gout, a condition caused by high uric acid levels. Coffee may reduce inflammation and lower uric acid levels by containing antioxidants, according to studies. Due to the high level of caffeine it contains, it is important not to consume more than two or three cups of coffee per day in order to avoid negative effects such as dehydration, high blood pressure, sleep disturbances, and digestive discomfort. 11. Reduce your intake of high fructose corn syrup. Many processed foods and sugary beverages contain this sweetener, such as sodas, crackers, juices, condiments, breads, and other common snacks. Excessive consumption significantly increases uric acid production as the metabolism of fructose differs from that of glucose. The liver plays a crucial role in processing fructose, resulting in the production of purines, which release uric acid into the bloodstream. Excessive intake of high fructose corn syrup overburdens the liver's capacity to metabolize fructose efficiently, leading to uric acid accumulation. By making informed dietary choices, it is possible to mitigate the potential risks associated with high fructose corn syrup. To reduce HFCS consumption, choose whole, unprocessed foods and beverages and read nutritional labels. I hope you found these tips valuable and they add positively to your well-being. Your support is truly appreciated and I look forward to having you with me in the next video.